device that is easily installed on any bicycle that can harvest energy from cycling activity. This, devi this device consists of three parts. The kinetic handle part, which generates electricity when the handlebar is moved from left to right or when the handlebar is swaying. The second part will be the wheel hub part right here, which generates electricity while the user is cycling the bicycle. The energy generated from both the wheel hub and the handlebar will be then stored in the charging circuit right here. The concept behind this device is similar to that of a conventional dynamo. The features of this device compared to a conventional dynamo is that this system is frictionless because there is no physical contact with any moving parts. So therefore, this system also has no wear and tear. And finally, this system can be installed easily on any bicycle. Now it's time to explain the hub. Uh, as you can see, the hub is uh, made of two sections. One is the rotor and one is the stator. The rotor, because the wheel is moving, we attach the rotor to the wheel. And the stator, because it doesn't have to move, we attach it to the frame. Uh, the, the rotor is having uh, the magnets, while the stator is having the coils. As you can see, uh, as the wheel is moving, the rotor also moves, and this means that the, the field lines of the, mag the magnets, uh, uh, the, the coils cut the field lines of the magnet, therefore uh, current is induced in the coils, and we have uh, connected the, the coils in series so that the voltage is amplified to be, charged in the, to be sent to the charging circuit. We have used the uh, 16 and 42 permanent magnets while 6 coils. Okay, moving on to the kinetic handle part, it's made out of coils and magnet inside this handle. So when the cyclist is swaying left to right, the magnet inside actually moves from left to right. And this causes a cut in the magnetic flux, which then generates electrical energy and will be stored in the capacitor inside this circuit. So now we move to the third part of the whole system, which is the last part, is the charging circuit. This charging circuit consists of a voltage booster, a capacitor, a diode and a loading circuit which I already there as a load of the whole system. So the main idea is the current current generated by using this coil will be connected in series and fed to the booster which used to boost out the 5 volt and then charge the capacitor where the diode is used to prevent bad EMF. Then the Arduino and XP is introduced for real-time uh, real monitoring system to monitor, to monitor the result in real time. As you can see here now the capacitor is very in very low charge, which is only one volt inside. We will try to do everything to experiment it. So now I will charge it. Now, as you can see, the capacitor is now charging and it's showing the computer. Right.